an attempt to build a one-second digital audio recorder. I haven't tried recording anything myself on it yet, so I don't even know if that will actually record intelligible sound or not. But right now it's wired in playback, and we're playback, playing back probably what's the first random bits that happen to be in this one kilobit of memory. And that's it. The light lights up whenever you're at the end of the memory. When you let go of the switch, it resets the counter to zero, and then it will, whenever you hold it down, it counts through all 1,024 addresses of memory and then stops. All of these are 7493 counter chips, and then these are just logic to detect whenever it's all ones, it disables the clock. That is the 1024-bit RAM, and this switch, only that top switch is used, it's set in that position is read. Here I have a, uh, it's, I saw on the internet, it's the, uh, Sigma Delta, or is it Delta Sigma? Um, digital to analog converter. I mean, analog to digital converter. There's audio input, and it's using this oscillator here, which is running at approximately 10 megahertz as read on the meter. And this is just a simple digital to analog converter here, which is just a comparator. And this is supplying a clock signal for, it's, a, it's one kilohertz as I'm w running for this, so it runs about one second to go through all the memory. And I don't know if it's going to actually successfully record sound or not, but let's see, let's see, if we were to, well, I just want to kind of play with it first. The switch is debounced too. Let's try writing something to see if it does anything. Well, that was the recorded signal. With no input, so let's try putting an input. One second. Okay, Hello, use world. our Hello, sound world. recorder just to record Hello, just stuff world. like this. Hello, world. Hello, world. Hello, world. One okay. Second. One second. Set this to right. Hello, world. Hello, world. Okay, I want to see if I can actually successfully record anything. Hello, world. Hello, world. Hello, world. Hello, world. I don't know if that would have worked or not. Well, let's turn on the amplifier again. I guess not. One second. One second. One second. Hello world. Hello world. Obviously I think we're too low resolution. It's not able to actually record any intelligible sound at all. That's a little disappointing. But if we ran audio through it and put it in write mode. Hello world. Hello world. One second. One second. One second. Hello world. Yeah, it's not working. Another idea would be to use the same clock speed, the same clock that ran it originally, but that would probably just result in the recording time that's just so incredibly short, it might not even be able to be noticeable that it recorded anything at all. And so the clock is here, let's move it to here. Wow. Surprisingly, it still seems to be counting in a very similar amount of time.
and you can tell by whatever is randomly in the chip because I turned it off and turned it back on is the same. But it seems to be inconsistent frequency. Hello. Oh well. It erased the memory. Oh, now you can see. It comes on immediately because it's so quick. You can't even hear what comes through it now. I don't know. It's just so dang quick, it's just counts it immediately. Yeah. But we went back here. Now that's very interesting. That was recorded at that super fast speed in such a short time, but it got this. When we're getting back to one second to go through memory. Wow.